During the Year of the Dragon, we were introduced to the League of Evil and the League of Explorers. Some of them were good, some of them were bad, but I wanted to see if it was still possible to win a game with each one while making it the reason why I win. Let's see if it's possible. The first member of the League of Evil is Arch Villain Rafa. This one was actually played at a World Championship, but as more legendaries were released, this card fell out of favor. There's also a lot of really bad legendaries in Wild, so I had a feeling that this one was going to take a little bit, but because this one is so fun, I did not mind. Do I want to play this before or after I play Rafam? I'm not sure. I can also just get Rafam in play. Why did I put this in? I'm so stupid. Oh God. <gasps> Wait, he took my Rafam? Are you kidding me? I feel like that was so unlikely. Oh my God. I arguably think that I should just concede against mage every single time. All right, we have a backfire on three, which is great. Ah, the classic coin mage secret. I wonder what it could be. Surely it's never counter spell. All right, so we can coin it into plot twist. Uh, uh, do I even want reform? Actually kind of good, right? All right, so as long as I don't draw reform here, we finish our quest. We go pull count tap reform. We never draw reform. Nice. Then we get reform. That's completely fine. I don't know what this mage is doing, but he's definitely doing something. We get reform. We play reform. And now we win game. The problem with random legendaries is that often they just don't do anything and you're just playing them for stats. Fortunately, this game, I did end up getting some great legendaries like Ragnaros, so maybe we can pull out a win. Like dealing damage is going to be really important. Oh, that's kind of exciting. Oh, damn. Jandis. Oh my God. Yo, with Nazoth? Oh my God, Envoy? Yo. Oh my God, he actually has flame strike. Am I overdrawing a card? No, it wasn't worth. It was never worth. Oh God, what am I losing? You know, that's a really good card, actually, unfortunately, so it kind of sucks. I think Rag is the play, though. I don't need resources. I just need damage. I'm getting ganged. What the hell am I playing against? I gotta get some of this trash in my hand, though. Garage! This hurts, but it is what it is. I'd actually prefer to hit this, but face is fine, too. That's actually okay, because that means that Rag is still alive. That's a pretty big deal. Oh, another secret is actually unfortunate. Oh, no secret. Oh, Elise, Elise, Elise. You're so cool, dude. That's absolutely useless. That's good. Maybe that was too slow. This card's so good. Dude, what is this guy playing? Oh, he didn't hit Rag, though. All right, we play a board. We always hit face here. Ah! So as long as they don't kill this, we actually just win the game, right? Oh, my God. Another flame strike. No way. Oh, that's juicy with the capital juice. All right, I don't know how Mage deals with this, right? They're pinging. They're blizzarding. I need Rag. Like, give me another Rag. That's the opposite of good. All right, we're going to play this thing, though. This might just be another Meteor, right? Oh, Polymorph. He's running a bunch of crazy cards. We're dead. Let's go. After using Murlocs with Divine Shield to kill my mage opponent, we move on to the next legendary, which is Blastmaster Boom. Fortunately for me, Blastmaster Boom was actually really good in his time in standard. The Bomb Warrior archetype was playable throughout the entire year, so I didn't think this one was going to be that bad, but I ended up getting one of the most intense matchups I've ever had. People love the Renathal. I wonder if I ever just go coin Brand to get two bombs in their deck. Hmm. Like, do they ever kill Brand? That's also good. Let's just play that. I this has to be some kind of Highlander deck then. Your cash is great, so we're gonna do this though. Oh, um, I guess we just play this one. We can do this actually. I can shield slam this. Not great, but it's not bad either. Ooh, there's our Talon. Perfect. He hasn't played any class cards yet, so I wonder what this is. I mean, this is just probably Karag. Oh god. What the absolute hell? Well, I could have got Bran into that. That actually might have been insane. Eh. All right, I'm gonna just play this next turn because I need this to actually do something this game. Oh, that is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. For those of you who don't know, Lifeforge Carriel gives you the immovable object, which lets your hero take half damage, which means my bombs are doing a lot less damage. This game was going to be very hard. So maybe with enough bombs. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. It might have been worth to brand it, but we'll see what they got. He never steals Denathrius back, bro. It's actually such a big deal, though. He's got so many bombs in his deck. I actually don't really want to kill this, but I will do this. I just need that damage, and they can't Reno me. But one day they'll drop bombs. They only have seven in the deck. It's fine. Oh, that's a horrible turn. Oh, wow, really? We'll start with this just in case, but I'm pretty sure I'm playing this. All right, just draw bombs. Just draw. Okay, that's one. It takes, does three, right? They need three right here. Oh, we have a shield slam in the deck. Uh, It's looking like an L, but you never know. Oh, God damn it. All right, we still have another shield slam in the deck. That's fine. Nice. All right, I'm going to do this. I have to win. Ooh, love to see it. We can do this, I think. I don't know. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> that's fine. All my cards suck. I guess they could take a brawl. That'd be unfortunate. Wait, what did they take? They take a brawl. I just have to go for damage, right? I'm going to brawl anyways. Okay. We just need four bombs in a row here. Okay. Oh, no. I just need a minion to live here. A minion living would be so cool. It doesn't actually change any breakpoints here, but it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever seen. Two bombs. No. I swear to God, if this guy has more healing, I'm going to be upset. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. Can't even brawl that. 
You, you, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One time, one time for the boys. Um, and he's gonna heal, and it's gonna feel so bad. It could brawl this. If I brawl this, it's a mistake, right? Easy. I guess you could say that this game was the bomb. Am I right? <laughs> we move on to our next villain, which is Swamp Queen Hagatha. Now, this legendary wasn't bad whatsoever. The bigger problem with it was the amount of good spells in the format. And in Wild, there is a lot of bad shaman spells. However, this legendary does get better with the quest from Uldum, so I didn't think this one was going to be too bad. Well, there's not great. I could keep a Macaw just for an extra draw. I'm kind of okay with it. But I could also keep Brilliant Macaw for the fact that Swamp King Hagatha does exist. But I don't know if that's actually good. So I'm gonna not do that. Jungle Giants. I mean, honestly, Hagatha is um, pretty great. And because we have the quest anyways, she should be really, really strong. So I gotta count my things here. So this is, th this would be three. This is four. This is five, six. And then we go coin into it. Okay. A rat. We're actually in a really good spot here. Yo, that's a spicy big card, actually. Primo value for that guy. I could coin it, but this seems bad to you because I want the hero power for this. Getting two of them sounds insane. I don't mind this. It's fine. Kind of need to do this, I guess. I can just loaf them. Oh my god, bro. I may actually have to go double mutinous here. Okay, that's actually good. Well, this is absolutely trash. That's actually good. That's good, too. Oh my god. Trading actually helps me out a ton here. I should have dirty rat first, actually. That was probably okay. Oh, this is a mistake. <laughs> All right, I guess it is what it is. I don't know if I have value to beat this deck. I was memeing about this. I was like, oh, this deck is so bad. It's so garbage. Like, it's pretty sick, to be honest with you. All right, we got our flurgle boy. Yeah, this looks like a flurgle angle. This is the same thing. What are you giving me? Much. Whoa. Okay, at least that's pretty weak. Also, this lives, which is great. And then we can do a CU. <gasps> Wait, I can get this back. Yo, Grumble. Well, at the moment, Swamp Queen Hagatha drew me the Toxfin and the Flurgle. And that's actually already doing wonders. So that's great. Ace. Oh, I should have Dirty Rat first. Ah, it's all right. We never Dirty Rat. All right, I'll also play a 5-5 five -five here because I can. This goes face. This goes face. This goes here. This actually just might win me the game, which is funny. All right, after winning with Hagatha, we move on to our next villain, High Sparrow and Togwaggle. Now, out of all the villains, this one was probably the best one. There was a lot of crazy combos you could do with this card, and it honestly leads to insane game states. I should have played the Lackey. Playing the Lackey was a mistake. Never mind, we're chilling. Togwaggle, please, please. Yes! Yes! <laughs> all right, this card, this card. Infinite Togwaggles. <laughs> I broke Highlander. Yeah, you're right. I'm about to draw my whole deck. It's okay. Uh, how do I do this? Seems to be I'm kind of stuck. A lot of cards that do absolutely nothing. Should have not done it like this. I didn't think this through. Wouldn't be a rare in stream, though, if we didn't think anything through. Am I right or am I right? All right, that was probably a mistake, too. Okay, I'm just dead. All right. I don't know what Warrior's playing these days. I guess I'll keep Sealed Fate. All right, there's Galley. Guess we go for Ed one. I'm wondering, I'm trying to think if this is actually worth going Highlander. It's fun, though, to do Highlander. All right, Renathal is great. Okay. They never kill the lackey. They don't kill the lackey. If they kill the lackey, some of us are gonna be upset. And by some of us, I mean me. All right, I guess it's an all legendary deck. Okay, you know what, whatever. I don't care. All right, I'm in. I know some of you might look at that play and go, what the hell is he doing right there? Was that actually a real play? And yes, I did do that. I did trade that. You know why I did that? Because I'm trying to keep this guy alive. All right, they never kill the dog. <laughs> Perfect, just what I wanted to see. <gasps> Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's magnificent. Oh, these dragons suck. I'll take you. I'll trade you in. I'll play you. You go face. All right, I think they're dead. That was glorious. This guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> what just happened? See, trading Edwin two times. What's the play for this moment right here? Mm hmm. Yeah, that definitely is going to save your life. I think, I think so. Yes. Well, it'd be a real shame if I could kill you. All right, Pog. After completely rolling our opponent, we move on to the last villain, which is Madame Lazul. Now, this card wasn't horrible. It was more of a support card for a control priest archetype. And you might be wondering to yourself, how does this legendary actually win a game for us? Well, I'm about to show you. Hey, hell yeah. I'll take it. How does Lazul win a game? Well, you're about to see. Oh my God, I love that. Give me another raise that actually. Oh, baby. All right, we get infinite Lazuls. They didn't play it. I could take it from them. Give it. Ooh, ooh. I can steal their ice block, but I actually probably want this card. But ice block is kind of fun. How does this work? Like if they play ice block next turn and I play this, does it take the block? We're going to test it out for science. Fine.
Mine. <laughs> No, that's actually so bad for me. I don't get it back. So we do this. I want more. I'll take that. Uh, we can do this. I'll take it. I want more. Sure. All right, looks pretty good. What have you played? Encanter slow? Runor. What have I played? I don't know. Let's try it out. Hit there. Good job. Give me another one. Yes. Ah, that's not very nice. Okay, sure. I think we have two ignites in the deck. Oh shit. Hold on a second. I'm. Oh, wait, we have that. We have that card. I guess that. Yeah. I'll do it. I sleep, bro. I don't know what's happening. All right. Um, you might run like Reno, right? That sounds good. Oh, sure. That was such a stupid game, but I mean, it worked. After stealing our opponent's deck with Lazul, we move on to Elise the Enlightened. Now, Elise was actually really good. She was able to copy very powerful cards like Zephyrus, so she ended up being very strong. And there are a lot of very powerful cards in Wild for Druid, so this one should be very easy. If you can't tell, what I'm going for is the old brand classic. Game. It doesn't matter. It shouldn't kill. Okay. Could you argue with me that Elise didn't get as lethal? Funny enough, my chat said that Elise did not do enough this game, even though she literally hit my opponent to get lethal. So we decided to play another game. Okay, well, I mean, this is a really good hand. Again, I'm going to be absolutely baffled if anyone in chat after this game says this one didn't count because look at this a cornucopia of nuts, if I'm being honest, right? We get the damage. We played this card. We break this. Wait, I should use my mana. We play Bran. I already played Bran. We hear I missed one damage. It's fine. No one saw anything. It's okay. I'm playing out of my mind. I know. You guys are crazy. You guys are like, holy crap. Who's this rare guy? Oh my God. Holy moly. That's a 1636. Yeah, I'm getting. Am I dead? No way you run Pyro Blast. Shut the fuck. No, 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 no. Illegal. What? What? <laughs> Who just hurt? Oh my god. Do we have to do this again? Hey, Elise, what's up? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's my very next card. You hate to see it. Oh, all right. We're looking for Sire and Atheris. Oh my god, what is happening? I don't really want to play this. I guess I could. It's actually pretty good. They don't get the healing from it. I'm hoping to get Sire and Atheris at some point here. I'm just going to play Zoff. <laughs> Am I really about to twisting Nether this? I guess so. Why not? It's not bad minions. All right, there he is. Oh, I miscalculated this, I think. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm not trolling. I thought this through. Hold on. We're okay. We have this card. Oh, that was beautiful. So I want to copy this hand as soon as I get Denathrius onto the right side. I need to get some cards out of my hand, though. If I play Elise, it copies this side of my hand, right? Oh. Unfortunately, I would not say that was good. In three turns, we can go for like the Wombo combo, okay? Okay, so one more turn, we pop off. All right, we go for the classic. No, all my brands. How will I ever win this game now? Oh, wait a minute. I have guff, so therefore I'm broken. Like silly me. After giving my opponent the suck, we move on to our next hero, which is Reno the Relicologist. Now, a lot of people thought Reno was going to be bad, but he ended up being very, very powerful. And Highlander Mage is pretty decent and wild. So again, this one shouldn't take too long. Reno, get in my hand. Hey, look who it is. Ooh, nice hand, bro. For those who are wondering, how does this card win me the game? If it just clears a board or it clears some mi minion, I'm going to count it. I know it sounds stupid, but literally that's all it's going to do. Was Reno a good card back then? He was, yes. People thought he was going to be really bad me included he ended up being very very strong it just turned out clearing your opponent's board for six minutes was pretty good are you telling me you aren't playing a silas ash tongue plus reno combo for 10 damage lethal you know now that you mention it i'm not and i don't plan on it i need this guy to play a minion though i will say that a lot of back and forth happening in this game you could you could tell from just the the board state how insane this game has been uh fireball you see how you call it, Chad? It's not luck if you call it. What the hell? He's playing Sire now. There is almost guaranteed. I mean, Reno isn't good here, so I don't want to play Reno, so I guess I do this. Ten guards in my hand, Chad. Ten guards. I'm stupid. You said you wouldn't cry on stream anymore. It's okay. You said you wouldn't do it. I'm just going to do this. That's just... That was good. That's exactly what I needed Reno to do. Good job, Reno. All right. I'm about to get rolled, though. Hey, that's a good card. There is a muteness in my deck at some point. Hold on, how much damage is this? Oh. 
I mean, even Denathrius isn't enough for this board, dude. Wait, that's not... Wait. That's not... Wait a minute. That's not Denathrius. Now, hang on a dang second. Well, Reno did his job. After becoming rich, we move on to our next hero, Surfinly of the Sands. It turned out an upgraded hero power just wasn't good in a Highlander fashion because it was not consistent enough. If you didn't draw it in the early game, it kind of did nothing. That was basically my plan going forward, was just conceding until I drew it. It's possible. What do you guys think Warlock is playing here? The daggers are probably insane. If I could get this done in one game, bro, that would be like actually kind of crazy. Oh, shit. Well, that was just strictly better than whatever I was doing, so. All right, I'll, I'll wait one more time. Okay, drawing the card, sure. This is probably Big Priest, and it's it's going to make me sad. But that's really good. So if it's Big Priest, I'm going to play this next turn. I think this is unwinnable. I was conceding a lot at this point. Sir Finley was just not showing up in my hand, and even when he did, he just did not do enough. So I decided to make this more into a Murloc Highlander deck. Come on, 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 come on. give it to me, give it to me. Dude, I, this is, this is awful. I'm just gonna get some. This is fun. This is why I play Hearthstone. This is it. This is the, okay. Uh, I mean, the Ravager actually is good. So we'll, we'll stay. Probably coin it out too. That's fine. We have Reno just in case. I don't, again, this is probably gonna be some big priest deck. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I get lucky. Maybe it's not a deck that makes me want to scream. Try it now, smile. I mean, our old Merc out here is actually insane. Come on. Okay, we're doing nothing. I love nothing. Akani's actually great. Maybe I'll, one day I'll draw it. One day, smile. One day I'll draw it. It'll be fantastic. How do I make Sir Finley win me the game? I mean, the Hunter here your power to finish the game off would be insane i'll take the rogue one too the druid one sure or whatever you got hey okay, that's fine makes me kind of sad but it is what it is uh not it okay try it try it try it try it try it this is the this is the time your time is now gamer chat help me i'm gonna go insane he's just dead bro oh never mind okay we're fine <gasps> yes okay oh my god this might actually win me the game here hunter no um wait they're dead they're dead right did that count? He would have won me the game. My chat voted in favor that Sir Finley would have won me the game. So we can move on to our last hero, which is Dino Tamer Brand. Now, Dino Tamer Brand was very good. It turned out summoning King Crush for seven mana was very powerful. So this one should not be that hard. Let's finish strong here. I'm going to keep tracking just so I have it. Okay, not 40 L. Yes. Yes. Playing Quest Priest. That's great. I love Quest Priest. Pull Kelter, the dude. Yeah. We'll do this because we can. We'll play Reno on six just for the four six stat line. I just need Bran. Wait, I have Bran in the deck, right? I do. I looked at it like, huh? Is that after? Oh! Zephyrus? All right, we're playing this next turn. Do you guys think they run Zilliax? There's simply no way. There is just. No way. It's fine. Just don't heal. Hell yeah, dude. Be really, this one was a lot easier than most. I think this one was just more fun. Thank you so much for watching this challenge. If you ended up enjoying it, I would really appreciate a subscription. And if you want to check me live for the next challenge, the link is in the description. Thank you so much.